Hi, Mark Savage, Savage on Wheels. Uh, today we got a Bronco. Well, this is the Bronco Sport, so this is a little Bronco coming out from Ford. Now, Bronco hadn't been around for a long time. In a, I think the last time anybody remembers it was when OJ was driving it on the freeway. So, what about, you know, why a Bronco? Well, it's got a good name, and they used to sell a lot of them. So there's going to be a big Bronco, but this is the Bronco Sport, and this is the small one, and this is the one that's out right now. This is based on the Escape chassis, and uh, they say it's a small or subcompact SUV. I don't know. It looks a little bigger to me. To me and Paul, uh, we're thinking this looks a lot like a Land Rover. So <laughs> is this a Rover? One of the things we like here is split tailgate, so I can flip up with the glass if I just want to toss something in the back. Or if I got something long that I want to have stick out the back. Or of course just a hatch like a normal hatch. Another nice thing, all rubberized back into the car here. You can see we can fold the seats down. Those are all rubber on the back of them too. We got a light we can turn on back here. We've got a whole bunch of things that we can hook onto so that if you're going to carry things. And according to things I've been reading, two mountain bikes will fit standing up in here. So if you're a mountain biker, this is going to be a fun vehicle for you. A couple other nice features here for storage is a little under seat storage just on the one side, comes over to about here, but you can hide a few things underneath if you'd like to. And look at this, we've got a zippered back pockets on the backs of the seats so you can put some things in there and hide them also and keep them protected. So a lot of nice little features here. So we're going to take this uh, just mildly off-road here while we're playing around with the, it a little bit. This is GOAT. Go over any terrain. GOAT modes, which we think is kind of funny, if nothing else. But I can show you what you've got. It goes anywhere from normal, which of course you're going to be in for 90% of the time. Uh, we got Eco. we got Sport, which does firm things up and make it feel a little sportier. we got just Slippery for icy conditions. And then we got to go back the other way. we got Mud, Ruts, Sand, and rock crawl because this is the Badlands Edition. The Badlands Edition is the first one that has uh, the bigger four-cylinder turbocharged engine. It's come standard with a three-cylinder engine, which I think is a little unusual. Uh, but you know, we can lock in the differential down here. Uh, we got some other things for slippery road conditions, and then the four-wheel drive right there. So we're off, going just mildly off-road here. It's a pretty good bumpy uh, terrain that we've got, and uh, we're in the mud and rut mode for the vehicle. And it's, uh, you know, it's got plenty of traction. Paul and I have been this way a couple of times. This is a local field that we know that we can get into and play around in a little bit. Not go too crazy. <laughs> Woohoo, baby. <laughs> Rocking and rolling. Rocking and rolling. If you're an off-roader and you like this sort of thing, this is, uh, yeah, this is very capable. So we've taken it off-road, very capable there, which, you know, the, to, to me the difference between this and an Escape is that this one I feel comfortable taking off-road. Uh, now we're driving on the regular streets, the highways and so forth, very comfortable, it's got a nice ride. Uh, sometimes a little bit shorter wheel-based SUVs are a little bumpier, but this is a very nice ride. Uh, and we got plenty of power, it's got 250 horsepower, this has the EcoBoost turbo four-cylinder. Uh, the standard engine in the first couple levels of this are just a three-cylinder with about 180 horsepower. I'm sure that's fine, and if you're looking for the economy version, that's the way to go. Uh, these go all the way from 28,000 at the entry level up to about 38,000. This one is about 35, 36,000 as it rides right here. It's got a few options on it. It's got some fancy wheels on it, and uh, we also got the ProPilot Assist onto this, which gives you the smart cruise control and a few other features. So uh, I think it's a nice car. It handles really well, uh, and I, I, Paul's a, a particularly fond of Jeeps, and I've, to, I've told him this handles better than most Jeeps. No, that no, no, yeah. no, no, no. I did not but, say that. But no, he didn't say it. I said. <laughs> oh. it. Uh, but you know, no, it handles real well. Uh, and then I can also go down here and do the magic goat button, and we're going to shift it up into sport mode. And that's going to tighten the steering wheel up a little bit. And here we go. It'll, it'll pick up the. It'll pick up and roll. So not bad. Now I've really enjoyed this uh, this uh, Bronco Sport. 
and I think it's got a, a lot of potential. I think for people looking for a low-cost, uh, entry-level kind of off-roading thing, this is this is one of the better options that's out there. You know, there's been Jeeps for all these years, and there are a lot of the other small SUVs and, and crossovers say they'll go off-road, but this one's really meant that way. And you know, this one's got rubber floors in it, no carpeting, but it does have some floor mats in it. But, you know, that way you can rinse it out. You can take your mountain bikes out. You can go hiking. You can put your dogs in the back. Um, it's very utilitarian. So Bronco Sport, the small Bronco, the big one will be coming along pretty soon in a couple months. Uh, this one goes off-road. You see we got a little bit muddy here today. Uh, again, twenty-eight to $38,000 and uh, is very capable off-road, very nice on-road. Looks a little bit like a, a Land Rover and... Uh, you know, this is the Badlands edition. This is the one that I would go for because it's got the little more powerful engine. So give it a shot. I think it's a, a nice off-road vehicle.